she wasn't trying to profit off of the holy fire by pretending to be married to a firefighter and soliciting donations on Facebook for him and his crew. Officials are saying today that this isn't the first time this woman has scammed people. Would you like help with an attorney today in this case? Yes. The San Juan Capistrano woman, who's accused of collecting donations for firefighters, but then kept them for herself, has now been arrested and charged with 35 criminal counts. Ashley Bemis, well known to Facebook users for creating a fictitious profile as the wife of a firefighter and soliciting help during the Holy Fire, was handcuffed and put in a deputy's car Tuesday. As she creates a fake profile, she she creates a fake persona, she finds fake pictures, adds uh, a fake name to a fireman that doesn't exist anywhere in the United States, um, goes through this whole process of creating this this um, fraudulent lifestyle and then talks about how Cal Fire is out and it's a horrible place and they're ill-equipped. The 27-year-old is the same woman, officials say, who duped other people. Bemis is accused of faking more than a half dozen pregnancies, posing for photos with a homemade baby bump. People from church threw Ashley Bemis a shower after she allegedly told them that her husband and other children had been killed in a car crash. The South Orange County woman even posted pictures with children who she babysat, claiming they were her own. And that's what landed her in the hot seat on the Dr. Phil show last month. She was claiming your son was her child. She is a disgusting human being. Dr. Phil got some answers from Bemis after she posed as the firefighter's wife. I think I was trying to make it more believable that I was trying to honestly help. It's a loss of public trust, and that is something that's hard to get back. Even if we give individuals their money back, that loss of trust that they feel in donating when there's a natural disaster is something that we want the public to be aware of so it doesn't happen again. Bemis is being held on $50,000 bail. She is also charged with witness intimidation. The officials are saying that when people would question her on her Facebook page, she would challenge them and then send them cease and desist letters. That's the latest live in Santa Ana. I'm Michelle Geely. Back to you. All right,